Welcome to Step Up to the Sport, a conversation series bringing together the minds of women's baseball and women in baseball. I'm Kate Haynes, the moderator of today's conversation and the archivist for the International Women's Baseball Center. Our host today will be IWBC President and Marshall University Women's Sports History Professor, Kat Williams. Our guest today is Megan Cavanaugh, and we'll be discussing her role in a league of their own, her continued advocacy for girls and women in baseball, and some things that she is up to now. Megan is an actor and comedian best known in the baseball community for her role in a league of their own as Marla Hooch. Beginning her career on the stage, which she has recently returned to, the Chicago native debuted on the big screen in the 1992 film and has appeared in several small screen shows as well. Megan has also become an advocate for women and girls in baseball, making appearances at events like Baseball for All's Girls National Tournaments and playing in the annual Congressional Women's Softball Game as part of the press. So welcome Kat and Megan. Good to have you guys. It's good Thank to be you. here. It's good welcome, to be here. Megan. Hi. Yeah, it's good to see you. Yeah, All right, it's good to see you too. I'm going to turn it over to Kat for our conversation today. Okay, sounds great. Megan, um, uh, it, it is just so good to see your face. I mean, with COVID and, you know, we just, we have not been able to do the baseball thing this year. I so. know, it's been very sad. <laughs> yes, but on a happier note, your Cubs are going to the playoffs. I know, isn't that so exciting? I, I I'm know. so excited. It's very I exciting. I, I know. I I uh, I thought about you the right. other day, and and uh, my Reds are also going now. That yes. is actually news. That uh, is news. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Megan. So, well, well, listen. I know uh, the the folks listening are not that interested in my Cincinnati Reds, but they are interested in uh, Megan Cavanaugh and Marla Hooch. Uh, you know. It, Marla Hooch is probably one of the most beloved characters of any movie ever. What is that like? I mean, that's been 28 years, right? Yeah, yeah. And do, do people still come up to you and, and sort of identify you that way? The, uh, yes. And sometimes they say, you know, you look like. They'll say, you look like <laughs> yeah, that yeah. gal. I go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get that a lot. No. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> um, Yes. And, uh, you know, the the younger generation tends to know, like, the Jimmy Neutron. I did Jimmy Neutron, Boy right. Genius, I'm the mom and that and that. And they know uh, Broomhilda from Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Different, you know, different right. yeah. sort of yeah. ages and different pe- sex of people. But I'm telling you, the baseball world knows Marla unbelievably. Yeah. And it's it's an honor to have been, to have played her and to, yeah. to carry on her... Uh, her legacy. I, I feel like it's it's outside of myself. You know? I'll bet. I'll bet. It's, I mean, I it has to feel that way. I mean, that whole movie feels that way, I'll bet, right? right. Like yes. Being part of of a league of their own is uh God, what must that be like? Because truly, <laughs> truly that is uh one of the most important, and I'm just gonna call it this because I believe this is what it is one of the most important feminist movies ever made I agree and and I and 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 now I obviously don't know Penny didn't know Penny Marshall and I don't know that that was her goal but but I think it is I mean and and so from that standpoint the 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 actual importance of that movie beyond it just being a really fantastic movie right um, right how does that what is that like to play in in that kind of significant movie? You know, it, it has developed into being mm-hmm. the, the significant movie that it is. It's a classic now, yep. and um, and that is, uh, it's it's daunting. It's um, yeah. sobering. It's it's. I feel so grateful and so honored to have been part of that movie and to, you know, be part of that legacy of telling that story and. Um, you know, all the women that, that played the game and that yeah. we were, that we were representing, you know, that was a, that, there was a big, um, we really wanted to make them feel uh, more than happy. We wanted them to be like ecstatic yeah. With, yeah. with our portrayals of, of their time because, yeah. Yeah. you know, that's, it, it was, yeah, it was a lot on our shoulders in a way just to yeah. do it right. <laughs> of course, of course. I mean, you know, those women, meaning the women from 
the all American really played. World. Yeah. Um, right. It, it, they were they were there and part of making the movie, weren't they? Some they of them were. were on they set. Were. And, we yeah. had a couple of consultants that were there the entire time, and then uh, players would come and visit. Oh, so we nice. had we had sort of had rotating people throughout, but it was um you know we had a, we had we had pages of um how to uh, talk about the game. Yeah. So like you know you you know using colloquialisms from from nineteen forty right. from the nineteen forties and not you yeah. know the 1990s was yeah. when, when we shot it yeah. um, and we wanted to make sure that we you know had a real flavor of that and mm -hmm. and because playing a different historical time period is is tricky oh, I mean I feel like you it, there's a there's a homage that needs to happen mm -hmm. to the women and what they were up against yeah. that the, the, that uh, as an actress in the 90s you know wasn't my well, wasn't really yeah, anything that yeah. I had to consider right so you know um but i yeah it, it's just been an amazing ride yeah the whole yeah. marla the whole marla deal oh, yeah. and i had all these um uh appearances lined up this year oh, you know yeah. different ballparks and stuff and yeah, yeah they yeah. all canceled and and yeah. um yeah. and i miss it i just miss oh, but well you know that has to be uh, it, it, uh you know the movie has to be the gift that keeps on giving for for right. you I would think other actresses as well. Absolutely. Um, because you guys have, uh, in, a, in addition to playing these incredibly important, significant women in U.S. history, um, you've also become friends with a lot of them, right? Yeah. Yes. And, and you appear with some of them at the... Yes. Well, like Maybelle Blair and Shirley Berkowitz, uh, yeah. Berkowitz, we and you know Mary Moore and and some of the other uh, like uh, these gals to to be with them for me is just such yeah. an honor. Like yeah. I, uh, these are the gals that really played, and I, you know, I get to I am an actor and I get to play that, but yeah. to actually be in their shadow, yeah. if you will, is is yeah. it's, it's big cleats, big cleats yeah. to follow. That's right. That's right. <laughs> But you know, they and and we, uh, uh, Kate and I both know some of them quite well, and and probably a lot of folks who will be listening to this know them as well. And and um, at least to a person, uh, the ones that I've talked to have been uh, they 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 remain just blown away by the movie and and right. your all's portrayal of them and. Um, and then ultimately what the movie did, you know, let's, I mean, yeah. let's, let's think about that. Let's talk about that for a minute. I mean, yeah. you made this great movie, right? right. And, and, and I have no doubt you have phenomenal stories about being on the set. <laughs> uh, but, but then, okay. So it comes we out. hoped it would be a hit, you know, yeah. you never know. You're, you're, yeah. you're, you're filming stuff out of order. Yeah, you're not right, seeing right. any cohesiveness at all. Yeah. You're just like, oh, we're doing this scene, you know, that's right. practically at the end of the movie and now we're doing the beginning and yeah. it's just all over the place. And especially, right. it was my first movie. And yeah. you know, you just have no gauge yeah. as to what take they're gonna use. Right. Um, you know, and you don't know like, you just don't know. Yeah. And we prayed, yeah. we, we really prayed that it would be a hit and that everybody would love it. Right. Mostly we just wanted the women who played yeah. to love it. Like yeah. that was the main goal. Yeah, of course. And um, yeah. Well, so, and, and of course it was a big hit and it continues to be a big hit. Yeah. And you know, I've told the story so many times, I will never forget as long as I live, I will never forget sitting in the theater in Louisville, Kentucky on July 4th, 1992, watching wow. that movie. And my life changed in that moment. And, right. and, I, and I think I am not alone in saying that. And, and, I, and I think that, you know, I, I don't know if Penny Marshall knew she was doing something that was gonna have that kind of impact, but you know, she sure did. I think, I think she, knew this story had to be told. She yeah. saw the documentary that Kelly mm -hmm. Kendall right. um, had put together and and she knew, she had never heard of it. She thought, how come I, how could this whole thing have happened and I never ever even heard of it? Yeah. So yeah. that was her impetus to, to, to right. you know, to make it and to do it. Yeah. And so um, it's fun to hear her talk about that. Right. Um, and on the, on the League of Their Own, um, 
extended version with the director. It's the director's cut. Yeah. Me and uh, Penny, well, Penny, let's start Penny and me and yeah. Tracy and Lori um, are on it telling stories. And she talks a little bit about that on oh, um, that good. director's cut. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's um, great. Well, yeah. you, you know, I just the other day, I rewatched uh, you playing Penny on Drunk History. <laughs> And I have to tell you, I, it was just as funny when you turned around as it was the first time when I watched it. So <laughs> I, <had> all of <laughs> I know I was like, yeah. oh, my God, that that's Megan. Yes. Um, well, you know, I, I know that um, when I teach a, a women's history class or a women's sport history class and uh, whether I'm talking about <clears throat> baseball or just that World War Two period. Right obviously the movie comes up. And so students who have had me in other classes and they know me by reputation, if I, I always, first thing I do is ask, how many of you have seen the movie A League of Their Own? Now, these are 19, 20, right. 22 year olds. And I would say we're still at about 50%. Yeah, oh yeah. I, and I I'm agree. always, and I'm always stunned and I always threaten to fail the rest of them if they don't <laughs> get out and watch it. But, um, but part of it is, and we are able to have these kinds of real discussions using baseball, using that movie and, and baseball as a vehicle to talk about some real things. Um, right. and, and one of them, one of the scenes in that movie, I think is more relevant today than ever. And that's the scene where uh, the black woman throws yes. the ball. Yes. Um, as, you, as you likely know, this is the 100th anniversary of the Negro Leagues. And the right. IWBC and Sabre did um, a women in baseball conference a couple weeks ago in which we focused on African-American women in the game of baseball. And that, that scene came up in all these different yeah. contexts, you know? Um, do I mean that was not you in that scene? But do right. you know um, how did they make a decision to do that? And well, I think it's in the original script. It is. I, okay. I think it is. I'd have to yeah. go back and look, but I'm pretty sure it is. I think yeah. that that um, you know, I know, I know that this this element is going to be taken on in the new Amazon yeah. League yeah. of Their Own, yes, the, the, the series that's going to come out. Yeah. And I'm excited to see. The diversity and the stories told yeah. in that that's going to be too. you know um yes. I, I think it's really going to be good but yep. um yeah i th I'm, I'm i'm almost positive it was in the script yeah, to begin good. with good okay yeah well and and you know what is that scene maybe 30 seconds maybe 45 seconds right. or something but it is so incredibly powerful and yeah. Um, and there are so many like that in the movie that you can then extract and and use in a different setting to, to right. further make some some points. But um, you know, it, it's um, it's a movie that whether you're a baseball fan or just a movie fan or uh, you're you you've got to love it. And certainly the girls that come to those national baseball tournaments. Oh yeah, those kids love it. I know. Oh, believe me. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. They, you know, they say they they. I have had countless girls come up to me and saying, "We watched this on our bus on the way to tournament." Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, every turn, every bus going to the same tournament, everybody's watching. I, you know, like, I know, I know, I know. It's so wonderful that it's so inspirational yeah. for mm -hmm. um for so many, and that it's twenty eight years old, and that there's been nothing like it since. Like, no. come on! I know, and that is both. Uh, uh, fantastic and sad. Yes, I mean, it's like it, it's stunningly sad. To me. Yeah, yeah. It's like and, they're yeah, yeah. I, and I mean those um, those girls. And and just to give a little background here, uh, baseball for all, run by Justine Siegel, does right. uh, girls baseball tournaments all over the country. She does a national tournament. Uh, the yes. IWBC hosted that three years in a row in Rockford. Uh, the last year we did it, which was last year, uh, uh, over 400 girls showed up to play baseball in an all-girls tournament in Rockford, right. the home of the Rockford Peaches. Yeah. Now, you you were there. I was there. Absolutely. You, I, I there. mean, and and is there anything more amazing than watching you know, 10 and 12-year-old girls 
in their baseball uniforms. And not only, I mean, and they're playing ball. Oh, I mean, yeah. they are good players. Yes, they are playing. And um, ball. it's, it's, it's so gratifying. I was talking to some young women recently and saying, you know, do you play baseball? No, I play softball. Would you like to play baseball? Because I don't understand why women, young girls, and they get pushed into this. Yeah, yeah. Listen, softball's great. I'm not t- taking anything oh, away from softball, but, but baseball is, for me, it's the best. Yeah. But I got to speak to, during this COVID time, I got to speak to a, a, a classroom of girls in, um, in Nebraska who were studying a league of their own as part of their pop culture class. And the teacher asked me if I would come and I said, sure. That's great. And we had a conversation about it. And a lot of them played ball and um, only a couple of them, they played baseball when they were little, but yeah. then they, now they all play softball. And it's, of it's just, you know, it, it, it just drives me crazy a little bit. Like, I know. I, know. It, I, I don't understand the, why they do that. Do they just not want women to be competitive with men who are playing baseball? I, 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 that's the only reason I can think that, that it's, well, it's like that. I, I, um, uh, I am probably not the person to ask since I, <laughs> I, I, I could launch into a 15-week course on why, yes. that, why right. that is the case. Right. Um, but, she does, in fact, teach one. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but, you know, in short, I think, uh, and, and, and God knows there is no one who is a stronger supporter of Title IX than I am. I, right. I, I believe it is one of the most important pieces of legislation. I totally agree. For women right up there with the 19th Amendment. And, but at the same time, it was Title IX, I think, that really helped to create that split. Or, or to magnify it because okay. the, of what was called equivalency sports. Boys okay. play baseball. Oh, okay. Well, let's just have girls play softball. Oh. And now that's not the only reason, but that is certainly one of the reasons. But right. yeah, you know, but I played competitive fast pitch softball. I loved it. It's a great sport, but yeah. it's not baseball. No, it's it not. Not baseball. And that's the thing. When we're standing there at Byer Stadium in Rockford and we're watching these 10 and 11 and 12 year old girls walk onto Byer Field where the people yeah. play into the arms of 92 year old Maybell Blair. Right. Who played for Peoria. I mean, my God. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like, yes. That, that's what this is about. And that is largely what that movie did. Megan. Yeah, I mean, it absolutely. Gave, it gave that tie. Right. People, and I think Dead. it's so important. And I hope when people come up to you and they say, hey, are you? Um, I hope they also thank you because. I get, oh, it, listen, I, there's so much love coming at me. That's it is, awesome. It's, it's and amazing. You deserve like, it. I, I'm so, thank you. I'm so glad I wasn't Nurse Ratchet because, you know, she had a <laughs> terrible career after that. Like, you know, who, yeah. you, who people identify oh. you. Oh, I, yeah. Like, that matters, and yeah. the, the fact that I'm that I'm identified with this character is yeah. just such a such a blessing. Uh, I mean, God, I, I you know. Well, you could have could have gotten you know. Uh, it could have uh, been bad. It could have been bad. <laughs> it could have been bad. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> well, I I I'm glad to know that people identify you in that way. Um, right. And, and so you mentioned a little while ago the TV show that's coming out. Yes. Uh, and uh, most people know that it's an Amazon uh, TV show. We don't know when it's going to premiere or anything. Right. Like that. Uh, and it's not going to be based on any of the other the characters that, that came out in the movie. It's going to be it's going to be players on the teams, but different players, not, you know, right, it, it's right. going to be a different, a different show. It's an entirely different show. Right, right. Yeah. And that is what I've heard as well. And also that it will, as you mentioned earlier, be much more um, uh, inclusive. In, in, yeah, <laughs> inclusive. And I think there will be some discussions of sexuality. Right, uh, like I said, more inclusive. Taboo and you know. yes, ah! what the, they were really trying to play down in yeah. the forties and in the nineties. I guess, of course, they were trying to play of that course. whole thing of down, course. right? But but I'm telling you, something really amazing happened last year, and that was the documentary "A Secret Love" by uh, that uh, goosebumps, uh, yes. Pat Pat Henschel and Terry yes. Donahue, and yes, um, that blew that out of the water, didn't it? It sure did. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. that movie I know. was amazing. Wasn't it, wasn't it phenomenal? And I watched it with my 90-year-old parents. Oh, oh. Um, and my and my sister and her husband and um I think it I think it really helped them see a different a different perspective. Good. Um good. You know. Yeah. Cuz yeah. yeah. I mean I mean their story is one of just love and devotion. I mean, that's so it. Beautiful. Yeah. That's it. That's all it is. I talked to Pat yesterday, actually. Yesterday was her birthday. Oh, and, okay. um, and of course, we, you know, we always spend time reminiscing about Terry and, and you know, it's just, yeah. it's still there. That's just remarkable. We should all oh. be that lucky, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Well, so um, did you, have you been involved at all in the TV show or is that something that you've just not been involved oh. with? I haven't been involved with it in any uh, capacity other than when they came to Rockford, right. um, when, you know, uh, they talked to me and we, you know, right. uh, but, but no, I'm not, and I'm still friendly with some of the people that are, that are um, working on it, but I'm oh, not, good, good. you yeah. know, I'm not, yeah, I'm not part of it. No. Yeah. Um, I'm right. really grateful that they're doing it. I think it's awesome that, um, that they're going to tell those stories, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really looking forward look, to it. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it, too. I think um, a lot of people are. But man, it's like stepping into the role of manager or coach after like this beloved manager retires. Yes. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's, well, I, I mean, if, by, by calling it, are they calling it a league of their own? You know, I don't know if that's ultimately going to be the title or if that's a working title. I really, okay. I, I don't know. I, th I, I, I don't heard. think they should, personally. I oh. just feel like they're separate entities. Yep. They're both involving the same time period and the same, you yeah. know, teams yeah. and all that. But yeah. I, I don't know. I think, I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. name things the same thing. Yeah. You know, I, I did That Darn Cat and then, then there was another that, the original That Darn Cat, I was in the remake of That Darn Cat. So, oh my gosh, that's you know, funny. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it could, it could happen, but I... Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I, and, and, you know, I get also why you might want to attach yourself to that name, because right. let's face it, it's, you know, pretty well known. But yeah, I, right. I would think it, it would be something different, but, you know... We'll see. Yeah, yeah we'll see. Whatever they yeah. call it. Whatever they it's call it. It's going to be great. It. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm I so can't excited. wait either. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And, and as much as anything, I'm looking forward to, as we said earlier about the fact that you guys did this amazing movie in 92. And right. I'm not saying there weren't other movies that had impact and had an impact, but there wasn't one right. like this. And there wasn't one right. about women's sports. No. And, um, and so I'm just glad to see at least the TV show doing that hopefully yes and, absolutely yeah and then we'll yeah. take it from there you know right. we'll see what the next thing is yeah. well listen megan you you know we could talk for a month and a half about i would like uh, that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about um about a league of their own and and i don't want to necessarily cut that off but i also want to be uh conscious of time because okay. you have also done some I have here a very long list of all the TV shows you've been in and the, the uh, theater productions and the movies and you are one busy woman. I mean, I ha well, COVID not so much, but well, yes. no, let's right. all forget that. Right. Yeah. Um, although I did create behind me, um, I have my uh, little voiceover studio that I've created since right. since COVID because um, that's the only way to audition now. We all have oh. to become engineers. Oh my God. Um, yeah. So wow. it's, it's of course. Of right. course. Yeah. But um, yes, I've had a very, I've been very lucky. I've had a great career. I've, um, I've, you know, only acted uh, since I was about 30 to now. Um, that's um, been my, the only bread and butter has been acting. So I feel really grateful that I'm, yeah, that's great. You know, just, yeah. Yeah. I think I've said I'm grateful about 85 times in this um, interview. That, you but know I what? Am. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I mean, better to be grateful, right? Right. Uh, right. right. Well, you well, have a lot to be grateful for. So. Yeah. Well, I hear you. Yeah, I, I hear you. And, you know, when you look at this long list of, and now I'm just talking about TV shows, ER, The West Wing, Boston Public, uh, Friends, Will and Grace. I mean, I'm just kind of skipping right. through, right? Um, right. I mean, it, those are some 
those are some pretty impressive TV shows. And, <laughs> uh, and, and, you know, we, we all think of you as, of course, Marla Hooch from Marla, League of Their yeah. Own. Um, okay. But um, an, another uh, uh, group of people have been uh, identifying you as a character in Menopause the Musical, too, for yes. a long time. That's and true. what is that like 16 17 years or something I'm, i've been doing i've been doing it 14 but it's been running for 19 20 I, oh I, wow yeah yeah wow okay. well maybe it's 15 years wait hang on it might be 15 years <laughs> yeah <laughs> i think this is my 15th year yes 2020 wow. is 15 yeah That's so amazing. yeah it's been a it's been a wild ride i i um i've been playing the character of earth mother Yep. Um, but I've also played the Iowa housewife. And the great thing is I have, I'm not aging out of this role. <laughs> and that never That's happened great. ever. Like you know, you're in a show and you might age out of the, the ingenue part to the, you know, the character yes. or the old. Yes. And I, you know, this is, I'm still in the same role I was 15 years That's ago. So. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Well, and it is a fantastic show. And, yeah. and do you enjoy doing it? Is it? Oh, uh, yeah. I couldn't be in it for 15 years if I didn't enjoy well, it. Well, that would be, yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> that would make sense. Yeah. And I, oh. I love the people I work with. That's great. Um, I love my cast. They're, they're just, and the, and the crew. And we have a great time. And most of it's on the road now. I mean, I haven't done oh, a right. sit down of this show for, oh gosh, I don't even know when the last sit down I did was, uh, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And so mostly it's touring and I've seen every state in the United States and I've been to wow. Singapore and Malaysia doing wow. the show. Yeah. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah. That is really impressive. Well, is the plan once COVID, I mean, uh, assuming COVID, you know. And, yeah. Takes there's an seat. end or there's a, yeah. a way to, to be able to be back in theaters. Yeah. 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 So um, the, I think that they have every intention of going back yeah. to work when it's, when they can. Yeah, um, and I don't know when that'll be or yeah, how or how it's going to be. Yeah. I don't know. In the, maybe they're going to do what they're doing in stadiums. You know, they're going to put like, they're going to keep a bunch of uh, chairs between people and you'll be doing yeah. it to half a house and not a full house. And, right, right. You know, I don't know, but it's, yeah. it's weird. Do it's got to be weird. Yeah, and it's affecting everybody's health insurance oh. because uh, because Actors Equity and Screen Actors Guild and AFTRA, all of the unions, those health programs are based on how much is being produced. Oh. If there's nothing being produced, there's no money going into the coffers for the health fund. Oh my so, God, Megan. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, so wow. it's, it's become this big thing. And so there's been a lot of reorganization of how to um, keep people covered, but, you know, having to change stuff. And it, there's been a lot of people being very upset and disappointed. And, you know, um, well, so- Well, that's scary. I, yeah, that's it scary. is. Yeah. It's very scary. Yeah, well, and you know, I'm at the age right now. Before I'm, I'm, I'm only I'm 59, and you know, I won't get Medicare until yeah. I'm 65. So I have this gap yeah, of know. time that I have to be able to, you know, get my health insurance. Well, so. and at some point we'll do a podcast about uh, health insurance. Right. <laughs> I, I could, I could maybe, give you some info. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe not today. But no, uh, I'll stop talking about it. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That wasn't that wasn't to get you to stop talking about it. It's to keep me it keep me sitting on my hands. Um, so, um, in addition to all this acting that I can't possibly list and uh, and the the theater work, um, you're also very um, supportive of um, uh, the. I'll just call it a movement, the women's baseball movement. Definitely. We're certainly very supportive of the International Women's Baseball Center, and we right. are so grateful for that. Um, and, and it's clear that um, there are other things out there that you spend your time doing. For example, playing, uh, I don't know, did you play with a congressional softball uh, no, I actually threw out the first pitch the first okay. year, and the second year I sang the national anthem. Oh, right, right. And then okay. I was supposed to go this past year, and it ended up not yeah, happening. Right. And okay. I actually don't play for the press. I actually am in the in the, the the congresswoman's dugout. Oh, that's great. I like that it says that I play for that 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 I'm on that I'm really not that, with the press for. I've I've been in the the, the dugout for the the congresswoman. I, that both times I've done it, and they—they've told me they named their trophy Marla. Oh my so. god! <laughs> that's so, 
That's so great. Yeah. Well, and and do you mind just for uh, uh, people who may not know um, uh, the benefit uh, that that the softball game is a benefit? Uh, right. That's correct. It's for young women who have breast breast or have breast cancer. It's their yeah. breast cancer survivors. I'm, right. I'm a breast cancer survivor, so it was a great fit. Um, right. When they reached out to me, and I, I, you know, I, I was so happy and willing to do it, and they've raised right. a lot of money no, for them, a lot. No. Yeah, and and it's specifically, as you said, for young women, correct? Young women with breast yeah. cancer. Yeah. Because you know that's a, it's you don't think when you talk about breast cancer, you think oh, you know, just think of women. You don't think young women getting it, and no. there are so many young women. I know, who, and who have. And it's, I think, it, yeah. far more dangerous, too, isn't it? A lot yeah. of times when a lot of times, they're young. Yeah. 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 And I, I, I know uh, Congresswoman Sherry Bustos, who, uh, from Illinois. I love her. She is fantastic. Also a very big supporter of, yes. um, of the, uh, the IWBC. Um, and um, she and I have talked about it a number of times. And this is something that's just so incredibly important to her. And, yeah. Well, she's the one who got me involved. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah, she was, uh, she, she uh, at one point, well, this year's, uh, the IWBC was going to play a role, but obviously that, that, right. that didn't happen. So, right. uh, but I just, I want people to know you, you are also a, uh, an important advocate. And, and I absolutely am. And I'm so grateful to be part of that, yeah. uh, um, that to be part of it. It's, yeah. um, it's really important to be able to support people who, who are going through a really hard time and to be able yeah. to, you know, yeah, 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 it's, yeah. yeah. it's, yeah. Uh, it really, it's, a uh, it's an amazing thing. And, and I've talked to a couple of people who have been to the, the game and it's just a, it's it's a wonderful uh, experience for them. It is, uh, I, yeah. you know, and, and getting to meet um, not just the congresswoman, but you know, some of the the people in the press, and yeah, um, oh, yeah. you know, it, it's so it, it, it's it's kind of it's really fun. It's really that's, fun. that's great. That's great. And I'm blanking on every single person's name that I wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just glad to know that that happens to somebody else because oh, I can't God, tell you. That. Oh my right. God. I can't tell you. I'm, I'm like, now, why did I come into this room? Right. I, 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 I yeah. should have written those names down before yeah, we started. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. I know it's the name of my sister, but you know, right, exactly. I yeah. Right. All right. <laughs> Oh, geez. Well, um, Kate, I don't want to, um, I don't want to exclude you from, I know you have a few questions and we're getting close on time. So I wanted to see what you, what you've got and then we can go from there. All right. Well, I actually just have uh, one question from social media and it'll take you okay. back a little bit to uh, a league of their own again, of course. Okay. Um, but Ross from Facebook asks, uh, can you give us some insight on how you modeled your character in the movie? Is there a real life player that Marla would have related to or have been modeled after? So she was a combination of a couple of different people. Mm -hmm. um, she's played second base, so Sophie Kurz was an inspiration. Um, there was a girl who lived um, with uh, her father and... Um, she came from, uh, she didn't come from Colorado. I mean, they changed a lot of, but there was a girl that like her dad did have her, I guess, and I never knew who this was, but but there was tell that, that there was a player that did this. And, you know, the thing that, um, researching this project for me and, and learning about the league, um, I picked Sophie Kirst because she was second baseman and she's amazing and she's got the, you know, yeah. still standing the most stolen bases. Yeah. Yes. And I, you know, I, I just Man or woman. Right, exactly. Yeah. And, and, and um, you can't and, beat that percentage either, like. Right. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. I'm not a great fielder, but I still like to think of myself as Sophie. And, <laughs> <laughs> but I could hit. And I yep. um and I know that there were a lot of good, really good hitters um in the league. And I have, you know, I took I did a lot of research for this twenty eight years ago. And <laughs> um <laughs> and so yes, they were loosely based on yeah. people from yeah. the league. Yeah. Um and yeah. And also I love playing um underdogs. Yeah. 
Yeah. I love giving yeah. breath and life to people who whose stories don't necessarily yeah. get told in a positive way. Yeah. Um, you know, it, although Marla could be sort of the joke of um, the league, she ends up not being the joke. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, and so I appreciate, um, um, you know, I feel like I am one of those people. Like, I feel like I'm an underdog that, yeah. that had some success and really, um, and, and I hope that I, and I hope to continue to um, help other people and, and, and bring them joy and, you right. know, doing the work that I love to do. And um, so, so yeah, so that's the answer to the question. And thank you for playing. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I think, I think that um, like when, especially if you're older, um, and you kind of start the movie, you you kind of, you, you get a little wary when you're introduced to Marla. Because I, I d honestly did not see the movie until I was uh, fully through until I was a teenager. And right. yeah, that introduction, once you've been ingrained on like, oh, this is how you set up that kind of joke right. of a character. And then she's not. Um, I think that's right. a really great way to really show that kind of underdog story, um, right. you, know, you know, in a way that kind of plays off of those those tropes and kind yes. of spins it on your head, so you relate a, a lot better. Yeah. She has the biggest arc of any character yeah. in this yeah. movie, yeah, and does. and and to be able to play that and to, to know that going in, like this, you know, examining the script and figuring it out and going, she, this arc is amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, a lot of times you don't get that. And, and, and you know, yeah, I'll bet. so many times you don't get that. So, <laughs> yeah, right. So you right. know, that was that was really um, uh, appealing. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know? do you think that's why Marla is such uh, uh, one of the, the beloved? Most, yeah, and one yeah. of the most popular characters from that movie, and and for everybody, regardless right. of who you are. You know, when you like the underdog. When that when the underdog is likable, mm -hmm. um, you, and you're rooting for them, yep. I think it gives you something to root for. Yeah. Um, um, and and you know the original the original script she doesn't leave the league to get uh -huh. married. Uh, okay. She would never leave the league to get married. Yeah. Baseball's yeah. her first love, and yeah. her husband is her second love. Like yeah. you know, right? And so so that and that happened. Um, like we filmed. Marla's arc to the end and she gets married and she gets traded and she plays in the the um the series and she gets hurt and she gets in the hospital and they think she's oh, gonna lose wow. her baby there was a whole huge more stuff that happened oh that God. didn't end up in the movie yeah, yeah my, my character was the fourth lead in this movie wow originally that's her, amazing yes her storyline follows a kiss between um Jimmy and and Dottie that that didn't end up being in the movie. Oh yeah. So everything that was connected on that storyline kind of went got, out. Went yeah. out. Oh, and I didn't okay. find this out until I was I was um, where they were getting ready to release the movie and we were in um, ADR, which is when you go in and you have to match your voice because they yeah. didn't get a good sound take. And um, Penny told me, she said, they showed me, you know, driving away in the car. She said, I just need you to say, I see you next season. And I was like, what? And she said, oh yeah, I'm real sorry about that. But then, oh, well, that's not the man. She's out of the movie. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. I'm happy to be in the movie. If I'm only oh. a part of the movie, I'm okay oh, my with God. that. Like, you know. Oh but, my yeah, God. Like, if and you that... saw the script, you'd see that yeah. she's in it. And if you notice at the end of the movie, yeah. when the two real when the two teams of older ladies are at um yeah yeah are playing marla's in a sweatshirt of the racine gals not the peach gals oh my god you, I you look for it like she's I, I think it's a white sweatshirt for for racine and it's blue for um yep. Uh, uh, Rockford, so. and I think she's so. in the white because she's been traded. Oh my and, god! And all of that, ha and then they ended up not doing that. And up we didn't. We didn't know that. So right. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Who knew? Yeah. That's like a little trivia question. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. There's a lot yeah. of trivia. That's yeah. That, yeah. I information for your next cocktail party. I mean, that's really, that's, that's really fantastic. Well, and I, all of us want to see it too. Like. <laughs> Well, right. now we got to go watch it again. I mean, <laughs> what we that? can watch the ending. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> you skip really to the is, end if you want. You don't have to watch yeah, the ending. It really, it really is kind of one of the best parts 
too, right? Yeah. When those yeah. women come back in yeah. and, you know, it, it's just. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and those of us who know many of them, and right. you look at that now, so many of those women are gone. I know. And you look at that group of women at that, where they're all singing the victory song and I just can't hardly look at it anymore. I mean, I'm close to the age they were when we filmed the movie. I know. Like I'm the age, I'm the age of Karen Kunkel or, you know what I mean? Like some of the gals that were the younger gal. Yeah. Like it's, Pepper was probably in her six, Pepper was in her sixties. Yeah. I'm going to be 60 in November. Like it's just weird to have, I know. To now be the age of the gals. Yeah. I think Maybell may have been in her early 70s or something, right. late 60s, early 70s. Yeah. Yeah, it's really amazing. And, you know, I, I, um, I, I can't imagine that it wouldn't ultimately be hard to be attached to a, 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 a character sometimes. Ultimately, it must be like, oh, please, God, don't make me say that again. But, but I hope, I hope even in those I don't moments. Have that. I'm glad. I'm yeah. glad because what I was going to say was even in those moments, I hope, I hope you, you take with you just the absolute sheer importance and the, oh, the magnitude of what you did for now more than one generation of, of young girls and women right. who, hey, if you can see it, you can be it. Right, right. right. Uh, uh, I absolutely I, I'm, I'm so, I, I, Call me Marla. I don't, you know, it's all good. We're, yeah, it's so right. all good. I'm, I'm, yeah. I, if I had to be, you know, I don't know, some other character in, in, in the world, like I think of Tom Wilson in um, Back to the Future. He was the yeah, bully. Right. And that's what he's known for. Like, he's such yeah. a sweet, nice guy. I'm like, at least I'm not, I'm not that. Like, yeah, I get exactly. to be Marla. Like, she's yeah. awesome. Yeah, and people yeah. say funny things like they'll say, "You're so much prettier," <laughs> and I'll say, "Oh my god!" Like, <laughs> you know, I'm well, saying I, I was acting. I put spit in my hair. Like I was trying to be, yeah, yeah. as dowdy as possible. Right, like, right. I'm glad it worked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice. The magic know. of Hollywood. Like that's right. 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 That's right. The magic right. of Hollywood. That's fantastic. Well, uh, <laughs> Megan, to wrap up, do you wanna um uh you wanna tell us a little bit about what you've got coming up if you sure. I know so uh, yeah, so it's been COVID time and there's not, you know, there's not a whole lot going yeah. on. But um there are there is a New Works virtual festival. It's 20 plays and seven days, and it's benefiting the Actors Fund, which is a the fund that helps people when they can't pay their rent or you know, it's right. like a grant kind of a thing through yeah. um and and I'm so excited I'm doing two different projects with them, and one of them is a baseball project called Bloomer Girls. That's fantastic. Yes, and I, it's it's about the, the the women who played in the late 1800s um, until I don't know when they stopped playing. I'm I'm still researching that, but yeah. I'm going to be playing the manager of the team. That's great. And, um, yeah, I'm really excited. So that's happening. I don't know the date, so you'll have to okay. like go okay. New Works Festival, New Works Virtual Festival, 20 plays in seven days, okay. and. Um, and I also have a very exciting thing coming up that I'm not allowed to talk about. Oh. There's going to be some big news happening soon. Oh, oh, well, do tell. Be sure. <laughs> I will. Be sure to let us know. So I definitely we can... will let you know. Oh, that's great. Good for you. Well, and you can, um, if there's any other information about the, uh, the virtual plays that you want to get to Kate, we can put okay. it in the notes. Great. And, um, That'd be great. You know, because I don't know it offhand. I don't know. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm very tech savvy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I so understand. Believe me, so you are fine. Any information you want to send to me later on, I'll definitely get them in the episode notes right. so our viewers can watch, uh, check Perfect. them out. So that's fantastic, Megan. Thank you so thank much. You, for taking thank this you. Thank you. I'm so uh, happy to talk to you, and uh, let's so do this more see. often. Yeah, <laughs> let's just hang out, talk on right. Zoom. Right. right. Well, thank you again. Kate, thank you, and thank you. Uh, we'll uh, we'll let you know when this is gonna drop, Meg. Excellent. Looking forward to it. Great. <laughs> Love you guys. Love you thank too. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Are you interested in keeping up with Megan? Follow her on social media at Megan Cavanaugh eight on Twitter, or at Real Megan Cavanaugh on Instagram. 
While you're at it, you can keep up with the IWBC at IWBC for me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you're interested in becoming a member, please visit our website at internationalwomensbaseballcenter.org. If you liked our episode and are curious about our other digital content, don't forget to like and subscribe to IWBC Archive on YouTube. Thank you again for joining us for Step Up to the Sport. And thank you again to Kat Williams and Megan Cavanaugh for this conversation. Keep an eye out for new and upcoming content. And don't forget to step up to the sport.